Semi kono tu musinzi, hedemberi tu afu na guai musai. Haba kuanda ogwa musai gua tu gula. Bible ya gama mu Revelation five. Ntio gua musai gua Yesu. Ya tu guli la katonda na tu jamu budi chika. Budi guanga na budi lulimi na tu fuli la katonda ba kabaka. Era ba kabona. Era tu fuga kunsi. Wadi wamu sai ogwa kugula amina. Yimu so mikono musinzi Edembe yetu afuna Edembe yetu ya galiram Obulamu wetu ya galiram olwalero Musai kwa Yesu Tetu wenyu miliza mu magezi gafe Tetu wenyu miliza mu kusaba kwafe Na yetu lino musai Bible yetu gamba mbe bulani ya chato ngo Kuogera bulunchi Oku ganja kwenna funa wali musai Omuwendo ko bulamu bwafe wali musai Ogwo musai kwa Yesu gubala Tudemwe tembe yetu afuna tembe chinyweze wali musai Tewali ayi nadi kumalako Oku kanja kwenna funa kwali musai Omu wendo kwa bulamu bwano kwange wendo kwa bulamu Oku kwali musai Hey Omu sai Chimbe ngo chimbi na mumoyo chetembe yenina Kwali musai kwa Yesu Oku kanja kwali ngalero Omutango kwa yasasu lilobula mkwo nange Mkwo Omusai Kwa yasasu Kwa yasasu Kwa yasasu Zenenda lechisa
você como sei Como sei e conheci You are the wife of that home. Don't see yourself as the maid. You have to show it clearly. You put demarcations that you are the maid and the housewife. That here you are just a maid and I'm the housewife. Please put a demarcation of where you stop. You came here to work. That if God has told you that don't you see God lie to you he doesn't want you to be like him so in another way how we come out to do what God called us to do we first discover ourselves how do you see yourself what do you call yourself if you're not well convinced with that it will be very hard for you to fellowship with God that's why some people when they arise at night 
They arise, begin binding demons. Because they see themselves bound. They see themselves under principalities. They see themselves contending with demons. But a person who rises, identifying herself well, you are you arise in the presence of God and you see yourself that you have to fellowship with God just the same way the devil did to Adam that's what he did to Jesus if you are a son of God command this stone to become blood you were son of God he never told Jesus that you are a son of God you are the beloved one of God he put a question mark on his clothes he put a doubt in his mind what God told him even you as a child of God everything that you get to read in the Bible if a Bible calls you a friend of God though you have slept hungry just wake up and say I'm a friend of God if the Bible calls you a child of God though you are sick say I'm a child of God that is the beginning of overcoming what has been tormenting you when the enemy attacks you you know who you are you're going to stand before the enemy and he's going to scatter amen amen if you're a child of God why are you not married if you're a child of God why you're in marriage you're not giving back if you're a child of God if you're a friend of God why have you fastened that you're not getting a job if you're a child of God why, why this and that why this has happened to you why this has happened to your family why this came to your monies that doesn't make you who you are Chocola. what you do Cholina. what you have Chotalina. what you don't have what is around you the situations around you they don't define who you are when God was creating Adam it is God who created him in his own image what defines you they are not the works of your hands they are not the tangible things that you have it's not the situation you are in no not at all your creator he created you again he is the one who defined your identity and you are completely identical to whom he, to what he is just like God created Adam in the image of God and he breathed life in him he gave him his own life even us when we come to Jesus Christ we are exactly who God is in the book of 1 John 4 17, 17. Amen. Amen You can't walk with God If you're seeing yourself The opposite of what God sees you Just like in a home as a wife you can begin seeing yourself as just a maid or a servant then you get to know that this marriage has some issues that in this home I'm just like a maid <laughs> whether the man greets you or not you are the wife of that home don't see yourself as the maid. You have to show it clearly. You put demarcations that you are the maid and the housewife. That here you are just a maid and I'm the housewife. 
please put a demarcation of where you stop. You came here to work. I'm here to be here for the rest of my life. This is my husband until the end. Side dish. Side dish. Just know as the woman at home. Don't say two, three words. Me, I'm it about to go. It means you don't know that you're the wife at home. Because we came to cook till the end. Amen. The moment you begin seeing things like that, you're going to confess badly, and that's how you're going to become. You're going to call yourself who you are not. You're going to call yourself according to the situations around you. Resist the devil. The enemy is to remain. Though the situation is around you, though the words they talk about you, you have not permitted the words to change your perception. Though the business has got some issues, people will say that you don't have money. You have become poor now. Tell them that in Christ Jesus. I'm so rich. Amen. Amen. In Christ Jesus, I'm the righteousness. In Christ Jesus, I'm holy. In Christ Jesus, I'm more than an overcomer. In Christ Jesus, I'm a child of God. In Christ Jesus, I'm a friend of God. In Christ Jesus, I'm the brother of Jesus. The beloved of God. Don't permit the things you see in the flesh. Even what you feel and hear. To change your true identity. Amen. Amen. You got a true, a different new identity when you got saved. Nagamba, love has been perfected among us in this way. That you may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so we are in this world. Those are the words from God. That him, if he's seeing you, you're just like him. That's what the devil lied to Adam. That you are not like God. Come and test this fruit. Then you'll be like God. It's very hard to find a child of God born again the second time. Who believes that he is like God? But Jesus believed that. And he says, He who sees me has seen the Father. Just like I am, that's how my Father is. If you have seen me, you have seen the Father. Stand out and shout it loud. That's how I am. Amen. If he says just like him, why do you learn? What I did or what I spoke doesn't define me. But what God calls me, that's who I am. Whether you came to my house and I'm sleeping down, it doesn't make me who I am. Amen. What God created you. What God calls me, that's what I am. As He is, I am. That's how as, as He is. If you see yourself like that, you're going to see the glory of God and the righteousness of God and the holiness of God being manifested on your life. You're going to fellowship with God. You think do you think God one day he can be shaken and say I see the devil coming 
and he's Jesus scared. Jesus said the devil coming and he knew no, that you no had no attachment. That's how you should Yaga. see yourself like Jesus. How are we that there are demons I have no reason to fear just like God is that's how I am I'm a child of God the beloved of God the one is pleased with the way he is that's what I am you may be seated we go back in chapter 3 first John chapter 3 this covering your identity Identity. True identity. Is a very important key. For unfolding the mysteries in Christ. Failure to discover that. You have God in you and you live far below the standard you are supposed to live and you be like a housewife calling herself a maid at home you come from your bedroom from your bed and you go and begin sleeping in the store where the maid sleeps she will go where she is not supposed to be and she confesses what she is not she calls herself what she is not when the situation changes a bit it doesn't change your true identity you remain the way you are God created you as a woman or as a man whether it has rained or not you remain either a man or a woman whether you have got money or not you remain a man or a woman whether in America or in Africa you remain a man or a woman whether it's night or day you remain a man or a woman that's who you are though I live from here and go to another nation it doesn't change my identity whether the financials they have some uncertainty whether money increases and money overflows they don't define who I am though money is no more it has not changed my identity your life is not supposed to attach itself on these things that you see these are the things the enemy uses to deceive us and you, no flee, flee, and you fear and you lose hope kirira, and you worry because of the things that you see ladies and gentlemen who you are it was given by God Christo, yes. you were made like that by Christ Jesus it will never change internally amen Amen. Behold what man of love that God has bestowed upon us that we should be called children of God therefore the world does not know us the world doesn't know you. Though even your parents, they don't know you. Even your boss doesn't know you. Even your fellow staff doesn't know you. Even your pastor doesn't know you. Again, because they did not know him. Verse 2. They call who you are not. Beloved. Abagalwa. Now we are children of God. Kakano, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when he is revealed. We shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. We shall be like him. Because we are like him. We shall see him as he is. We shall see ourselves as he is. Even the angels will wonder. They will condemn. 
Because you're going to condemn them. And all the heavenly creatures, they're going to wonder. And they see you like him and you resemble him. Because that's who you are. You are put in Christ Jesus. That's why you are going to live internally. That is the victory that you have that will never be taken away. Now that's what the enemy is fighting hard. So that you don't see yourself the way God sees you. So that the world begins giving you what you are not. That the world will never understand us. Because it never understood him. Now if the world doesn't understand you, it's not important. But the most important thing is for you to discover who you are. Say I'm a child of God because I'm a child of God and I'm he's pleased with me mirror. stand up and say it loud Amen, Amen. <laughs> Today you are in let us go back in the Luke chapter 2 and verse 22 mm -hmm. Agamba, you are my beloved son. In you, I am well pleased. So get him to the guns. I'm a child of God. The beloved of God. He is pleased with me. I'm like him. I resemble him. When he's going to be money revealed, he's going to be just like me. And I'm going to be just like him. Him. Just like a child resembles the parents, I resemble my heavenly father. Just like he is, that's how my spirit is. Just like how he's going to appear, that's how I'm going to appear. I'm his child. He loves me, he delights in me. I'm going to look like him because that's who he is. What he is, that's what I am. In the name of Jesus. I don't believe in the deception of the evil one. It's not money that defines who I am. Your workplace doesn't define you. The titles they give that you are a pastor, they don't define who you are. That is your calling. That you are called after being who you are. Amen. Amen. Stop seeing yourself the way the world sees you. Stop calling yourself the way the world calls you. What the world calls you, don't believe in it. Because the world doesn't know you. And even it doesn't know your father. Amen. Amen. They don't know your father. If they know your father, they could respect you more than the president's son. Amen. Amen. But thanks be unto God. The devil knows it. That's why he wants to manipulate you. But stop believing in the deception of the evil one. Tell the devil what you're saying. That's not who I am. This situation doesn't define who I am. My body doesn't define what I am. It is the word of God that defines me. Let us repeat again. I'm a child of God. I'm the beloved of God. The one that is pleased with. I'm a child of God. I'm the beloved of God. That he's pleased with. I'm a child of God. I'm the beloved of God. In him I'm pleased. The day he'll appear. That is our true identity, what we got when we accepted Jesus. 
before you fast, before you pray, before you give a tent, before you preach the gospel, that is the wealth that is in time that God gave us to become his child, the one is pleased with, the one that he loves. Amen. If you want to give your life to Jesus, you just believe and say, Jesus, I thank you for dying for me. Today I've accepted. I'm born again the second time through the resurrection of our Lord Jesus. Now you resemble God in the name of Jesus. Oh, no, no. 